When you hear Fortnite Pro, underrated God is usually the first term to come to mind. Most players who excel at Fortnite are already well established in the Fortnite community. Whether it's through their content or their streams, even your grandmother's heard of Ninja. And believe me, she cringed when he tried to make NYC floss on New Year's. You may have not heard of the player that we're going to be analyzing today, Riversan. Talented, fast, and dangerous are a few terms to describe Team Liquid's new pickup. And we want to add one too, underrated. You may have never watched his stream, but Riversan is one of the best players in the world. In our opinion, he's even better than Tifu himself. So picks back up the high ground. You have Riversun, ultimate high, Ashes, one type beneath. Oh, oh. out of mats. He was out of mats. So now Riversun dropping down and gonna challenge on the oh. KW. And he finds it. No problem. Riversun picking it up there. I know he wow. says he only had two Elims. It was more like six. Not and only is he absolutely insane when it comes to mechanical skills, such as building and editing, but he's also a monster in arena. He shines at Fortnite tournaments like the World Cup. So, in this analysis, we're going to be looking at the Fortnite community's recent star to find out what makes him an absolute machine when it comes to Fortnite Battle Royale. Let's start this video off with some background info on Riverside, a look at where he started. And we don't mean where he was born or what his sign is. No, we're only going back a few weeks. That's when Riverside first made his skills known. It was during the first week of the Fortnite World Cup qualifiers. With millions of dollars on the line, this is one of the most highly anticipated tourneys to date in all of esports. Hundreds of thousands of players have competed. Each week, the top 3,000 players entered the qualifier. To guarantee a spot in Fortnite World Cup's main event, competitors have to place in the top six. And during the first week of qualifiers, it was only the top two. And that's what Riversan did. Riversan placed second in the first ever Fortnite World Cup qualifier. He was rewarded a spot in the main event and a $50,000 prize. But most importantly, he started to make a name for himself. Placing second out of hundreds of thousands of participants is impressive on its own. But let's put this into perspective even more by taking a look at Tifu. It took three weeks for the guy to qualify. Prior to this, he had failed to even place in top six, not even close. And by the time Tifu did qualify, many of the insane players had already qualified. Incredible competitors that were still looking for the shot while Riversan was playing in week one. Just another thing to keep in mind. And we're not the only ones gassing him up. Tifu has hosted Riversan, as Tifu is aware that Riversan is an insane player that deserves some recognition. And Tifu isn't the only guy in the pro scene to take notice of Riversan's insane abilities. Team Liquid, a leading organization in the Fortnite community, picked him up as soon as they first saw him. Team manager Corey Aruda had this to say about his first interactions with three of their newest pickups, including Riversan. I've been watching the Cups very closely, and these players stood out tremendously. I knew after my first conversation with them that I wanted them to be a part of the Team Liquid family. They're great young men, and most importantly, they represent everything we strive for. Be the best player you can be in-game, and be the best person you can be out of game. And Liquid is no easy organization to join. They feature some of the greatest talents and one of the most stacked teams in the Fortnite community. Their roster includes some very popular streamers and players such as 72 Hours, Stray Shot, and Poach. Team Liquid wasn't the only team who craved Riversan, though. We can see in this tweet that even major teams like Team Luminosity wanted Riversan alongside their impressive lineups. So, what was making all these teams so confident in Riversan, a guy nobody has even really heard of? Riversan also placed in many other Fortnite tournaments, some of these being the Blackheart Cup, Share the Love Event, Fortnite Gauntlet Event, and many more. He's even placed in the World Cup Week 3 qualifiers on top of his previous placement in Week 1. This secures him extra prize money and helps to show his consistency and skill in the game. Let's get into some gameplay analysis to find out how Riversign keeps placing in these tourneys. Being a Fortnite pro isn't easy. There are a large number of players who are all capable of being very good at the game. However, there are some that prove time and time again that they've got something that separates them from the rest. Riversan is one of those people. Riversan has mechanical skills on the keyboard and mouse that easily place him amongst the top Fortnite players. And his credibly fast building skills and edit plays set him apart from those guys. Tunneling is one of the main building strategies all pros bring out in close quarter and in-game situations. And this is where Riversan shines. We've seen his gameplay countless times, so trust us when we say that his tunnels are not only incredibly fast, but extremely versatile. Paired with his movement and positioning, Riversan's tunnels give him great cover and also provide a bridge to many of his aggressive pushes. There have been many instances where we've watched Myth and Riversan play together. But what happens next during their games isn't what most would expect. Watching their gameplay, we see Myth following Riversan's lead, allowing Riversan to make the calls. 
This is because Myth knows that Riverside's in-game skill level is superior to most, including himself. This happens especially a lot in the endgame. That's where Riverside burst out the insane tunneling strategies he's known for. While Riverside is expertly navigating his way through all the chaos, we almost always see Myth walk through Riverside's already built tunneling path instead of forging his own. This isn't something that most pros do. Oftentimes in the end games, we see pros branch away from each other and hunt down kills in unison, while also having a different focus. However, when Myth plays with Riverside, he trusts him to the point where he allows Riverside to guide him, even in the end game. And that's not Riverside's only insane building skill. He has building mechanics that outskill even the best in the world. In this 1v1 vs 100T Kenneth, we see Riverside absolutely dominate a well-known pro player for 100T. His fast and accurate building skills, as well as his knowledge of the best building strategies, give him the edge over Kenneth. And Riverside didn't even have to wear a soccer skin to do it. Although 100T Kenneth is a very good builder, Riverside's speed and accuracy are far superior to him and almost every other pro player. It's almost to the point where even a pro as good as 100T Kenneth looks like the average player when facing Riverside. But Riverside is just quick. He also makes high IQ building plays that further separate him from the other pros. In contrast to many good players nowadays who can only build fast, Riverside's builds are also accurate. I guarantee that all of his builds are done with a purpose. Almost every ramp, floor, wall, or pyramid he places is calculated with the immense amount of strategy behind it. Riverside almost always uses his materials in the most efficient way possible. That's an incredible skill to have in Arena, including the Fortnite World Cup tournaments. Many good players often run into the problem of running out of mats in the endgame. And although it's impossible to see a player never run out of materials, we see Riverside almost always finish out a game with a good amount of materials left over. This isn't due to a lack of building, however, no, this is due to his insane aim and fighting skills, which we will be outlining in the next section of this analysis. At number two, we have his ludicrous aim and impeccable gun fighting skills. Pros have a lot of flexibility with their aim thanks to building. Having to hit shots perfectly isn't always a necessity, as building can easily make up for lousy shots and missed opportunities. However, this is not an option for Riverside. In almost no scenario do you see him miss an important shot. In fact, his aim is so precise that he makes it seem like a bloom doesn't exist. In many of his streams, it is evident that he can hit his shots with relative ease. He flies through the end game, one pumping and spraying down other competitors. This aggressive and accurate gameplay is what makes him deadly. Not only do these aiming skills grant kills and points, but they also give him materials and health back. This is the main driving force behind his incredible endgame, where he runs through people who struggle to keep up with his incredible pace. Many of the best pro players like Mongrel and Tifu have great aim. Their aim is what pulls them out of many tight situations. For most, this is seen as a clutch play. For Riversan, these are simply normal things that he displays every single game. Oh, dude, Grandma's isn't loaded. There might be a plane. At number three, we have Riverside's ability to make important decisions fast. Many times in the pro scenes and competitions, we see players choke. That's making a bad choice when under intense pressure. Choking usually occurs in the end game, where there's large spectatorship on a player. From being on the Fortnite's live stream to getting scrutinized as a public figure, Riverside remains calm even in the most intense end game moments. Massive recognition has caused many pros to lose it during critical moments. Yet, we've seen Riverside perform exceptionally well in end games being broadcasted all over Twitch, with hundreds of thousands of viewers. And he doesn't just perform well, he secures Victory Royale against some of the best players in the world. Riverside has proven multiple times that this pressure doesn't affect him. Even in his tweets, he shows his strong confidence. This shortness is always important when competing against some of the best in the world. Whether he doesn't feel pressure or he's just learned to cope with it, Riverside never lets his nerves make him choke. Riverside's gameplay and personality set him apart from the top Fortnite pros and public figures. And we believe this is only the beginning for him. It's only been a few weeks and Riverside has already proven that he's superior to his competitors in many ways. We hope this video sheds some light on his smart plays, quick building, and impeccable aim. 
As we reach the end of this video, we'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I hope that our analysis did a good job of breaking down Riversan's play style and secret skills. Let us know what you think of Riversan. Do you think he's better than Tifu? Thank you all so much for watching again. Once again, this is Keith Allen Henson, and good luck on your Fortnite grind.